Adcock Ingram is South Africa's second largest drug maker and owns a portfolio of healthcare and nutraceutical products. It's got some of the most storied brands in over-the-counter pharma, things for headaches like Adcodol, things for flus and colds like Carenza C, Bioplus for the students, etc. Et Vitathion is another brand that's big mm. in the Adcock Ingram stable. And Panado. And mm. Panado. In Can't addition to that, it's got a hospital care business and also got some sort of uh, local generic drugs that are subject to regulation uh, in the AIDS environment as well, that sort of thing. But it's in turnaround mode. 8.1 billion rand, PE of 20.4 and a dividend yield of 2.2%. So turnaround mode? Yeah. Has it redeemed itself? Does the market look at this one with kind of, all right, this one is now in better shape? So its last set of results actually wasn't too bad at all. They s showed good growth in revenue, good growth in earnings, and, and all the rest. Um, the problem here is just that they're being squeezed from two sides. You've got a consumer under pressure in South Africa and regulated pricing, which is, which is forcing down the price. And then you have a weak rand US dollar. Their active ingredients and, and their input costs are in dollars. And they're going to get squeezed at the margin eventually, um, if they haven't been already. Um, and, and that's going to be a massive issue for this, for this company. They've also got overcapacity in most of their manufacturing plants um, and there are just a lot of challenges ahead. Um, we know that Bitvest took over um, management control of this company after that, that CFR Brian Joffe disaster um, and it has been going a little bit better but now we look at Bitvest results earlier this week and these guys say well they are going to relook at those that investment portfolio and, and so who knows whether this is non-core we could see them exiting it that doesn't look core it doesn't really fit into the whole Bitvest frame so because the time when the deal was done and the fight with uh, CFR, then the price got quite a lot higher. And mm. then since then, it sort of stagnated a bit. So it looks better now operationally. It does, but look at the share price graph. I'm just uh, it's looking at currently there. at about 40 rands a share. So Adcock Ingram, let's call it, uh, hot or not, there's a lot of uncertainty. What would happen if we do see Bidvest exiting? See, that's the thing. There might be some share price pressure and it, it mm. could be a prolonged share price pressure because there might not be demand for the stock at the moment. What I've heard in the sort of background noise as one does in Johannesburg market is that they're talking to people about trying to find a strategic buyer. So they've been <laughs> talking to people who would take that stake off their hands. So Someone really, else they really, they really are trying to get rid of it. Uh, well, you know, it's sort of not like they're in a rush or anything. It's not like they need the money, but it's uh, just something that I'm sure they're exploring at the same time as making sure that it's operationally doing as best it can. Do you, think, not. Do you think they'll make a long distance phone call to Chile? <laughs> I suppose, oh, you mean bring anyone. CFR back <laughs> into the fray? There are also, well, I think CFR did another deal with someone else oh, in the meantime. Okay. But, you know, there are also, like, Aspen is a possible partner, but then, you know, there may be a competition, competition related issues yeah. from the regulatory so you know, bodies. Of course, Africa's a great market, and like we've said about Adcock, they've got great brands in there. But you can't really buy shares on the assumption that some deal is going to happen. Hot or not? It's a bit iffy still so <laughs> maybe maybe once you get a p clear idea of what what this company is going to look like going forward you get a, you get better earnings visibility maybe um, but for now it'll have to still be a not for me Paul I'm gonna go not hot although I think Andrew Hall and his colleagues have done a super job but it's now priced at a level which assumes it's ongoing operational recovery so I'm gonna pass and say not let's hot. get